Earlier this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was hospitalized. Um, I had an infection in my leg, and honestly, I didn't even think I was going to be able to play during those days. I'm disappointed in uh, the play calling. We weren't put in the right situations to win this game. I think I do deserve more than 11 carries. I think I really do. This is my last game in the shoe. I mean, there's no chance of me coming back next year. Well, Eric Elkin and Donnie Evans were in Columbus, and they're reacting to Zeke's strong words. Wow, that is uh, about as emotional and as candid of a response as you're going to get out of a player. Eric Elkin alongside former Wayne Warrior, former Buckeye Donnie Evage. And Donnie, let's start with the play calling comments. I mean, he flat out says that he didn't think that the coaches put this team in the best position to win. What, what's your take on a player, really, for lack of a better term, throwing the coaches under the bus like that? I think what we saw just now was Ezekiel Elliott being uh, very, very frustrated and he just was kind of speaking from the heart with how he felt. Probably wasn't the best time to say it and how he said it, but it's how he was feeling. Zeke also saying that this was absolutely his last game in the shoe. We hear this around this time of year, obviously, there, a lot of people thought that this would be the last game for a lot of Buckeyes in this junior class who are going to be potentially first round picks next year. But to say it in this moment with such definitive certainty, how surprising is that? I was surprised, and I think a lot of uh, sports uh, casters, a lot of fans out there watching were surprised as well. And again, I think it was his frustration of only getting the ball 10 or 11 times, rushing for 33 yards. I think in his mind, he's thinking, you know what, I'm going to the NFL, I'm going to get my contract, and that's what I'm going to do. I know it's tough because you're not Zeke's teammate, you're not on this team right now, but as a former football player, you know the, what the camaraderie is like in the locker room, you know what that kind of brotherhood is like. Does this upset you as a player to see another player come out there and say, in the heat of the moment, and with such raw emotion, say all the things that he said? For me personally, it doesn't bother me as much. I know some of my other teammates, it would probably bother them. But, you know, for me, I'm not the one. I was more of a special teams guy, right. you know, and I was injured a lot. Ezekiel's carrying this team yeah. along with other superstars, and for him to only get the ball as much as he did, which wasn't a lot, and him being in the hospital this week and he's fighting through so much adversity, it just seems to me that uh, he, he was just kind of fed up, Eric. He was fed up. Going forward, obviously, there's at least one more game before the bowl season for Ohio State playing Michigan next week. Urban's going to get asked about this, obviously, on Monday when he has his press conference. And this is going to be – this is not just a, a one-day thing. This is going to carry for the next couple of days. It'll be really interesting to see how Urban Meyer responds to this, how he handles this internally. How much of a distraction do you think that this could be for this team going into this game? It could be a slight distraction, but I think the more focus and what the concern should be is the game. Saturday, we're playing Michigan in the biggest rival of really all sports. So one player declaring that he's going to the NFL, okay, he said it. It's over. You guys need to worry about Ohio State needs to focus on all their attention on uh, that team up north and having a great week of preparation. These comments from Zeke and that raw emotion almost makes you forget what happened here in the shoe tonight. Of course, obviously Ohio State, number three in the country, losing 17-14 to number nine Michigan State on a final field goal. Let's send it back to James Ryder with a look at some of the game highlights.